Agree, first of all, that uh, the insane Matt Damon is uh, <laughs> one of the fun. I've never seen him be so awful. Um, you know, we, we looked at the idea of talking about these issues because these are issues that, that we consistently have to deal with. I grew up in the South in the 60s and 70s during the Civil Rights Movement, and we sort of at that time thought we were putting to bed a lot of issues. Uh, segregation was going away, and we thought we were putting these issues of course we weren't, and, and we have these eruptions that blow up every few years, and we realize that we've still got a lot of work to do from our original sin of slavery and racism. Um, the, the idea of, uh, of, of juxtaposing these two was to, to say, uh, you're looking in the wrong direction if you're blaming uh, this African-American family for all your woes. You know, I, I think that uh, some of us here on the panel are, are able to speak to the idea of men, white men feeling that they're losing their privilege and blaming it on uh, minorities. And of course, it's nothing to do with that. So uh, we at least have seen it growing up, Grant and I certainly have grown up an age that saw it. She's too young. She's much younger. Um, so I think, I think that putting this insane family uh, in the middle of, uh, of this story, or, or putting this, this, this this great piece of uh, this great story about uh, the Myers family and putting that inside this insane story is a better way of putting it. Um, uh, seemed right. It feels right to have a movie where you're looking in the wrong direction on this, and that's why we did it. I think Matt, perhaps, have you 